The Large Adaptive Reflector is a Canadian idea for new technology to build a giant steerable radio telescope. New technology is required to be able to afford the large collecting areas that astronomers want to probe deeper into space with greater sensitivity than ever before. The telescope consists of a number of components, a large reflector, a platform where the radio waves are focused, and structures to be able to steer the telescope. The reflector is 200 meters in diameter and will operate over the wavelength range from 1 meter to 1.5 centimeters. This collecting surface will be 6 football fields in area and have an accuracy of 0.7 millimeters. The telescope has a long focal length of 500 meters so that the reflector can sit almost flat on the ground. This also gives the telescope the capability of having a wide field of view. The telescope is steered by moving the focus and adjusting the shape of the reflector accordingly. The shape only has to change slightly because of the long focal length. The reflecting surface consists of 1,500 zinc-coated high-tech concrete panels. Each panel is 5 meters in diameter and weighs approximately 1 ton. Concrete is used because it is cheap, easy to form, and very rigid. The reflector is constructed of a number of similar sections. Each section contains concrete panels, steel trusses, and actuators. The trusses provide the necessary stiff backup structure for the panels, and the actuators provide up to 7 meters of vertical throw for changing the shape of the surface. There are two stages of actuators. Large hydraulic driven actuators provide most of the vertical throw for a reflector section. In this design, large throws are obtained without a significant increase in cost over small throws, a fundamental requirement for the telescope. Smaller electric actuators drive each panel and provide final surface adjustment. The focus platform is held in place by a large tethered helium balloon with a 4,000 kilogram force lift. Six lightweight tethers from the focus platform are connected to winches on the ground. This high tension structure is very stable even in gusty winds. The focus platform is moved by adjusting the tethers using the winches. Additionally, a large part of the movement of the focus platform caused by the wind can be corrected by dynamically winching the tethers under computer control. The focus platform is where radio waves are concentrated and turned into electronic signals. Depending on wavelength, the platform is anywhere from 10 meters to 2 meters in diameter. The platform contains a multi-pixel phased array feed pointing and stabilization mechanics and global positioning satellite receivers for position measurement. 
It is constructed of advanced lightweight materials and weighs under 1,000 kilograms. The active mechanics in the focus platform keep the phased array feed stable in gusty wind conditions. Stability to one quarter of a wavelength is necessary to maintain accurate antenna pointing. Since the focus platform stays mostly in the focal plane as telescope pointing changes, only small attitude adjustments to the phased array feed are required. Once constructed, the large adapter reflector will be the world's largest and most capable centimeter wave radio telescope. No other low cost technology currently envisioned can match its capability in collecting area, wavelength range and pointing range. The large adaptive reflector is truly a revolution in telescope design.